Hello everyone, I am Jonathan J. Reinhardt and I want to welcome you to this unboxing video by Wargaming Recon. You see here the shirt and of course our logo up here. Oh, we're fancy, right? So before I get into the unboxing, I want to welcome you to it and I want to let you know about our audio podcast that you can listen to. Go to wargamingrecon.com and you'll be able to find the podcast right there. We're on iTunes, we're on Stitcher, we're on Google Play, we're all over the place. And if you're watching this, you're probably watching it through one of the many ways that you can watch our videos, such as on YouTube, of course, on Roku, uh, we're going to be on Apple TV, and we're going to be on Google Chrome and Amazon Fire and everywhere. We're just going to, we're going to be there. So I know that uh, you might be finding us a different way. So that's cool. And if you like the videos, I think you'll like the audio podcast. It comes out every other week. And we have guests and we do reviews and all that kind of stuff and things that I unbox, such as some stuff I have over here off on the side, then get reviewed or talked about on the podcast. So although you might see something here, you're really going to get the full experience by then going to the audio podcast. So I have two things for you guys for me to unbox that you will then see and the title of this episode is about one of them just because it was more interesting so i have a little bit of a backstory but let me show you the box so this box came, like i can hide behind it came today from this postmark and i was like hmm and it came in the mail and was at my door i said what is this and then i remembered that I had asked someone to send something for review and I was waiting for it. So we're gonna open it up to see if I'm correct. So we had a picture of this postmark right on our Facebook page. And I said, hey, where do you think this came from? Who do you think sent it? And I was like, bonus points if you can guess. So someone gave an answer that really made me laugh. So I was like, bonus points. And then someone else, and said the correct answer. And I gave a hint. I said that the sender makes things that many of us really like. So let's open it. You can see it came from, i go a little closer. You can see it came from Nottingham. <laughs> hint. I shake it. It makes a little noise. On the back, you see it has a customs notice and all that kind of stuff. It's a large box. Let's, let's measure it first. So we pull out our handy dandy Wargaming Recon measuring tape. Go across. Let's see. The box is 17 and 3 quarters inches wide, which is, what's that? That's like 45 centimeters for everyone in the rest of the world. And it's about 13 and a half, 13 and two thirds, maybe inches tall or about 30 just under 35 centimeters and then if we go how deep it is it is about three inches deep so I can figure out it's light and it jiggles so there's some room and the post mark on the back for the customs says it's a game Gives a total value of about 45 British pounds. So let's just dig in. Uh, I got my box cutter. And if you are a youngster watching, have a grown up do this for you or have one with you. Remember, if you're a klutz like me, when you open it, you keep the sharp pointy end away from you. I shouldn't have to say that, but I'm the guy who cuts himself. So we just, we open, Ooh, okay, one way, I'm very impressed with the amount of tape on this. There's just enough to secure it without being wasteful. So I like that, so you don't have to worry about there being an excess. Nobody wants it to go to waste. I mean, tape's expensive and we don't need to hurt the environment because it's basically plastic. Okay. In a last little cut. Okay. So I cut it all and let's open up. Okay, take a peek. 
Any last guesses? No? And <laughs> upside down, but we could just put that box away. Wrinkle, wrinkle, wrinkle. <gasps> Travel battle! Yay! <laughs> so here's the box. You can see the cool artwork. We'll just show that to all of you. First, you can see all the angles of this box. Here's the back. So this has been promoted on the Perry's social media, and it's been in Wargaming magazines and all that kind of stuff. I was excited when I saw it because I was like, oh, it looks like it's colored plastic, and I wouldn't have to paint it if I don't want to, which is a plus because I don't like to paint, as listeners of my show know. And I was like, well, I don't know how much it's going to cost when it comes over here to the U.S., but it's probably going to be expensive. So if it's like 50 pounds, it's probably going to be like 75 or maybe 100 American. And I don't have 100 American. I don't have 75 American to spend on it. But I was like, you know, maybe I should contact the Perrys because they're really nice. And I could be like, hey, you know, I'm Jonathan. I'm here. I do Wargaming Recon. We're the longest running tabletop Wargaming podcast on the planet, which is true. Could we work out something where, like, I get a review discount or, or something so I could get my hands on a copy of Travel Battle so that I can check it out, review it, do an unboxing, and all that kind of stuff. I heard back from them. Very, very nice. I can't stress how nice they are. And they said, sure, we'll pop a copy in the post to you. Done. And I was like, what? <laughs> so I was excited because... It's the Perry's. I grew up being like, oh my God, I love their work on Foundry. I love their work on the Games Workshop minis. And they just make beautiful, absolutely gorgeous models. So I was like, wow. And I'm just like totally geeking out. And I smiles. And I'm like, yes. And they said, yeah, it'll go out um, right before Salute. So that way you'll get it shortly after. And Salute has come and gone. And this hasn't come yet. I was like, well, it takes a while. So I didn't know when it was coming, but. It came today, so I had, knew I had to do an unboxing. I couldn't wait and let this sit. So let's open it up some more. So we got a handle, you can see right here, which is nice because it's supposed to be for travel. And actually, there's some tape on it, so we'll cut the tape. Just like those little um, tape circles, you know, that they get. One of them, you can see right here, one of them was actually done. But this one folded over. So you can see right there, it folded over, so it didn't actually go on the top. Let's open it up. So we get some foam. That's nice. Keep things secure. Let's take that out. And then here's the insides. So you got your red dice. You got your blue dice for your different armies. And you got some plastic here. All the plastic was done by Renedra. So you have... Oh, this is neat. So they actually used this base like this to kind of keep everything in place. So here's one of the bases. It's nice quality plastic. It's sturdy. You can tell it's durable. It's made to go. They have the nice indentation. So you have the hexes. Let's get a close-up shot on that. You can see they've actually molded things, right? So you have some croplands, an indentation for a house or some sort of buildings. You can get roads. Look at this. A hill. So you have some elevation. Another one down here. Different sizes. What else do we have in here? So that's one. I know there's another. We get the guide. We'll come back to this in a moment. Here are the buildings. So they are multi plastic, but actually, if you can see on the back, let's angle it towards the light. There's little grooves and pegs. So it looks like just a dollop of glue. Plastic cement. Go and that'll be bonded forever. Use your clippers. You cut them off. So you got some nice big houses, smaller houses. These are nicely done. Again, made by Renedra. Designed by the Perrys. So you know it's quality. And just look. That is. That's something else. Let's see. I'm going to actually try to focus in just on this it's a new thing i can do with this camera where i can manually zoom in on stuff let's see 
It's not picking up as well as I'd like. Let's try adjusting the focus. Here you go. So you see, we're really close. But I want you to get a nice, good look. Not that. I'm sorry for the shakes. I'll go back to autofocus so I don't look crazy. So that's that. I'll, I'll zoom in on the figures as well. So you get two sprues of, um, I'm trying to figure out what's the front. Okay, these are the front of red. And these just look like red things to you right now, but I'll zoom in in a moment. Get a sprue of green things. So these look like they are more hills of some sort. Maybe to make the hills wooded. That's these. We'll zoom in. And some bases. Again, I'll zoom in on those in a moment. And then two sprues of blue army. So it's very traditional red versus blue. I'll come back to those in a moment. And then in the base, this is actually kind of hard to get up. we got to shift the stuff around a little bit. It's because it's in here so tight. A little more wiggle room would be nice, actually. Here's the other base. So you have this here. At the back, there's some numbers. So you can see here's number two. Number three, I presume that'll do with placement. And it looks like you can assemble it just about any way you want. It is modular, which is great. And you can't see any of that. <laughs> so you can just line up one to one. There's the numbers. You can do whatever. So you get all the arrangements you want. I thought... No, I guess it is. It goes side by side like that. Um, so I'm going to put the focus really close. So I'm going to go out of focus in a moment. But I'm going to put the focus really close so you can get a really good look at these um, miniatures. Okay, so I'm out of focus, and I apologize for that. So here are the figures. They should be in focus in a moment. If the lighting works, maybe not. That doesn't help you at all. You can see some. Not as much detail that I can show you as I would have liked. You get to figure these are eight millimeter figures. So, and the blue's the same way. Let me show you the tree tops. I think these are tree tops. We'll get some more light on. Some design. I'll try to see if I can get a little more definition for you on the blues. Got my finger being in the way. See at the bottom of the screen. Those blues, that's probably about as much definition as you're going to get. So, we'll just take it out of that. So, you get actually a fair bit of stuff. And then let's go back to the book, okay? So, we just come right over here. Here's a book. It's actual rules for playing in here. A guide to how to assemble. So, you can see they walk you through how to assemble it, what to do. Um, what the basing is, it gives you even how to set them. So you get your brigades down here. You got your basing up here, but it even gives you things like how many movements it has. So they really, I like how they combine. So they're like, this is what you put on the base, and this is some information about it. And here's an actual assembly kind of thing. Here's how you put the mat together. And I'm using mat, but it, it's, I mean, it's, it's plastic. It's not like our cigar box battle mat. But you have right here, the, the the game board, I should say. The bottom tells you the sequence of play. It's not a lot of pages, which is nice, because this is supposed to be introductory, something for when you go 
and you're at a convention, you're on holiday, whatever, that you can bring this in and you can play. How to set up, how to play, what to do, some more rules, including some painting. People will want to paint the models. I know some of you will. I will not, but some of you will. So they show what you can do. Very basic painting, actually. And then if you want to paint the terrain, and they've done that. Not in what you get, but they've done it in the other stuff. And I tell you, it looks really easy. They say here, I'm going to just read from this, which is a little boring. But they say, painting the terrain. Again, there's no need to paint the terrain. But if you want to do, but if you do want to, here are a few tips. One, the beer plastic, no need to undercoat. So you just, you take this. You don't have to spray it or anything. You just, you start painting. The roads in the plowed fields painted in a mid-earth brown color. So as you see, you know what the roads are here and then the plowed fields. You do those as a brown, they suggest. The roads, fields, and grass, grass are now dry brushed, a buff and a yellow green respectively. So the, across the grass you do the green, yellow green. This is where most of the paint is removed from the brush and lightly applied to the surface, working in one direction. A lot of us know about dry brushing, but not all of us. And then alternatively, the grass surface could be covered in real way modeling flock. First, carefully paint the squares with PVA glue, making sure to avoid the grid lines. That will be difficult, but not impossible. While the glue is wet, cover in a fine flock and allow to dry, then shake off the residue. And they actually say here about where the idea came for this, but I'm told the idea is a little different. So officially, they say, Travel Battle, the original. The idea for Travel Battle was conceived and de designed by Michael Perry in the early 90s as antidote to a long journey with a group of bored tabletop gamers with nothing to play. And then they have a picture of the above is the original game using heroics and Ross six millimeter figures. I happen to have heard, and I don't know if it's true, but I'm going to presume it is because it makes a lot of sense to me. So I happen to have been told that when the, the Perry's, as you might know, like to do, it's not live action role play, but uh, it's like the society for something, something, something. So English Civil War, they like to uh, reenact that. And one of the brothers, unfortunately, during one of the incidents, lost a hand. The sculptors, the painters, that's a problem. So while he convalesced, his brother had an idea to help him war game. So they had something similar to this way back then. And they're finally doing it. So models are eight millimeter. I think they come up with a whole line of eight mil. So you don't have to just use these. But this allows you to get into war gaming pretty easily. So you just you get your box. You have all these things in it. You get your dice. Everything fits in here. So you'll see I'm actually going to put the stuff back as they had it. And it fits in quite nicely. I'm just kind of finagle everything in. It should go quite nicely. Rolls. And make sure to put this upside down. And I put my phone back on top. Close up. And voila. So that's opening Travel Battle by Perry Managers with plastics made by Renedra. Renedra makes really good plastics. I think this is going to be really good. And they actually, I like they actually have a note here. Size of the minis, 8 mil, because people who do Napoleonics, which is what this is, tend to not do 8 mil. They do like 6 or 10. So interesting. So let's get that out of the way. That's something I'm looking forward to doing. And Adrian, who's a co-host on the show, loves Napoleonics. So maybe we'll see if we can do some of that. And then we get this other package that came. Came from Casemate. So let's open it up and see what's inside. As you might know, in our previous unboxing, they had sent us a couple, um, yeah, two, two books. Uh, Spanish Armada and the Ancient Romans in Britain, which have paper craft and gorgeously done by Peter Dennis, I believe is the name if i'm remembering correctly so we got here an unknown package and i was not expecting this so i don't know what it is so snip 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 and open well we got that and we have what's well, interesting 
I wonder if some wires were crossed. I'm not going to say no, but they sent another copies. So this will actually make it easier. So in case you didn't see the other unboxing, gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous books. You can see here, I'm going to open up. So you can see here are some of the paper craft, the front and back, beautifully illustrated, colored, designed. You get actual bases for them, which is really neat. Yeah, some more stuff. These are the ancient Romans. And they do a whole line of stuff here. So the rules were done by Andy Callen, but the actual minis were made by Peter Dennis. And they have um, American Civil War. They got Rev War, War of the Roses in 1066. I got to say, just based on what I've seen by looking at the books, I want to look at all the others. So, Casemate, if you're watching this unboxing video, perhaps you'll consider sending the remaining four <laughs> to us for us to unbox and review. Uh, we would love to do that. And they have a YouTube channel. It says here, search Hellion Books, H-E-L-I-O-N Books. It includes a film demonstrating how to put together paper soldier models with Peter Dennis. They plan on adding further paper soldier content soon. I refer to it as print and play. I mean, these are already printed out, but print and play. They're calling the paper soldiers. It looks gorgeous. Oh, elephants. They show you how to put together your war elephants. Nice. You even get terrain in this one. So this is really nice. Just turn some pages and see some boats and things. So they look gorgeous. They tell you in the back there's some rules and things that you can use. So let's see. We'll just tilt you guys down a little and show you just some of the pages from the rules for layout and things of that sort. So if you want to get your copy, you can get it from Casemate there in the UK and the US. Here's um oh nice Roman roads. You can order it on Amazon using this. ISBN. If you do, we'll have a link below, depending on how you're watching, to our Amazon, um, to the Amazon store, which will be our affiliate link. So if you buy this from Amazon using our affiliate link, Amazon gives us a little bit of compensation for sending you their way. Just as thanks for that. So that helps keep the show going. Spanish Armada, we've shown this before. Gorgeous again. Indy Callen did the rules. Peter Dennis. And the ships, they are just absolutely beautiful. There was an article in War Game Soldiers and Strategy, I think it was, recently, the March or April 2017 issue. It could have been War Games Illustrated. Uh, honestly, I had both at the same time and was looking at both, and I don't quite remember which one I saw it in, so I do apologize. Got the ocean. But they just, they look gorgeous. The rules, you can do Trafalgar, you can do, just look at this. This is, it's gorgeous. And the cover, you can't go wrong. And it just, there's everything. I could just be like, oh, look at this and look at this and ignore all of you. But one thing that's really important to tell you how to cut them out, what to do. So you could cut them out of the book. You really can because it's high quality paper. You can do that with, it's okay. Or you can photocopy them. So if you have cardstock or whatever, 110 pound um, cardstock is what I would suggest using. Um, let's, I'm just going to take a quick peek to see what they suggest here. They say 80 gram, and of course, you'd have to convert that. I'm in the United States, so I use pounds, and they're using grams. They say slightly thicker, 100 gram paper available. You could use that if you have it. So I say get the heaviest that your printer can print. And then they included two info sheets. I showed these before. So thank you, Casemate. I appreciate that you sent extras. So we will use those here at Wargaming Recon because we're going to review both of these books, actually put them on the show. Do they will probably do some actual play with this. Maybe there'll be some videos of me or someone else actually trying to cut them and put them together. It might be interesting to see me because I'm just I'm inept. I'm, I'm not good with that. But thank you. And I want to thank all of you for watching this Wargaming Recon unboxing. I hope you enjoyed seeing these books from Casemate, they're very cool. You should pick them up. I don't have the MSRP. Actually, that's a lie. I do. They're on the info sheets, I believe. So Roman Invasion is $29.95, and Spanish Armada is also $29.95. They're both 48 pages. They just came out April 2017. 
They look cool. Very, very cool. So I suggest you take a peek at them. And then Travel Battle. I want to give my sincere thanks and appreciation to the Perry Brothers and everyone at Perry Miniatures for helping to get this to me and us here. I really appreciate the review copy and review copy of the casement stuff. Can't wait to dig into this. And who knows, maybe it'll get me into Napoleonics. Probably not because I'm not going to paint all that or some at all. But, but maybe. So thank you. And I want to say that if you have something, whether you're a game designer, you're a game publisher, you're a company, whatever, or you're just a fan, you're a gamer like me, and you have some product or something that you know and love, and you'd like us to unbox and review on the show, get in touch. Jonathan at wargamingrecon.com is the email address. You can leave comments below, depending on how you're watching on YouTube, you can leave comments or whatever. And tell us what it is, or send us copies, and I, you can email me, and I'll give you the mailing address. You can just send review copies to us, and we're happy to do that. We're happy to get mail, listener mail from all of you, whether it's a, like a thing like this, you know, an actual whatever, or it's a letter or whatever. Love that. So the more of that you send, the more of these unboxing videos we will do and listener meal videos we'll do and all that kind of stuff. So thank you very much again for taking the time to watch this video. Thank you for looking at all this. I hope you'll take a peek at these products and maybe consider purchasing them yourselves. And as always... You know you have to. You gotta keep on gaming.